Hello, and thank you for joining me. In this video, we will be demonstrating the Dynaware POS system as it relates to a quick service or counter service environment. Dynaware software is the easy to use POS system that offers the flexibility to manage your business your way. The Dynaware software was designed with three main principles in mind. Up here in the upper left hand corner, we have listed those principles. The first is ease of use plus high reliability equals a low cost of ownership. We continuously hear from restaurant owners, managers, as well as staff that our point of sale software is the most user-friendly system they have ever experienced. The basic premise of Dynaware is that restaurant owners should be able to manage the system themselves and not require a lot of technical help. That's a little background on the Dynaware point of sale system. Now let's get started with the demo. The most important feature on the front page of the software is our 10 key pin pad. Each employee will have a four digit pin or we can use magnetic swipe cards. They will use this to log into their account. This will also function as their time clock so you can very easily pull a payroll report with the employee's hours worked as well as how much they are owed. So to clock in We'll enter our PIN number, and when we do so, it'll ask us for the job that we are performing for that shift. I'll select Manager for this shift. And that will bring us to our Order Entry screen. Down the middle of our screen are all of our menu categories. We can have as many of these categories as we'd like, and we can name them anything we would like as well to reflect our restaurant's menu. Within each of these menu categories are our menu items. You can see that under snacks I have all of my snacks, under sandwiches all my sandwiches, and so on. We also have modifiers or choice sets. For example when I choose my BLT here you can see I do have a required choice set which is the side. And this is required indicated by this little red question mark right here. And when I choose salad, we also have sub-choice sets here. So you can see the salad dressing is a sub-choice set that populates when I choose salad. That's a little bit of how the menu is structured. Let's go ahead and run through a couple different transaction scenarios. The first transaction we'll cover is what we call FastPay. The FastPay feature allows few touches on the screen so your servers can help more guests. If a customer walks up to the counter and orders a drink, we'll simply select that drink from the menu. How about a Diet Coke? And when I tap Diet Coke, you can see that my ticket automatically populates with Diet Coke. The total is down here at the bottom. And our fast pay keys automatically populate depending on that total amount. So if someone hands us a $10 bill, we'll simply press $10 and our change will pop up in big bold letters and our cash drawer would open at that point. So that was basically two touches and we've taken care of a customer. I'll go ahead and demo that one more time. Orange soda, $5.00 and we've taken care of a customer. So you can really see how that would speed up a busy lunch line. Now if the customer is paying with a credit card, it will be one more step. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Let's choose something a little bit more complicated. Let's go with a hamburger here. Simply select hamburger. Again, here are some of those modifiers or choice sets. First I have to choose temperature. choose medium rare and then we have a couple add or no options. I'll go ahead and add bacon to the burger that will upcharge accordingly and how about no onion or tomato. So you can really account for any modification within the system. I'll go ahead and come down to our pay button here that will take me to our pay screen and then I'll simply swipe the credit card on the side of the terminal, confirm our sale, 
and then you can see that check gets closed out right away. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that one more time. How about the BLT with a side salad, blue cheese dressing. Go into our pay screen here, swipe our credit card on the side of the terminal, and confirm our sale. Very simple and straightforward. We can also identify what type of order this is by coming down to our new ticket button. And here is where we can specify if, if this is a takeout order. I'll simply select takeout and then select OK. That will open my ticket up. Then I can select items for that takeout. Let's do a French dip with fries and how about a ham sandwich with soup. I'll hit OK here and that will label this ticket as takeout number 93. If we want to put a custom name in here, we can simply do that by tapping in to the ticket name and selecting custom name here. I can go ahead and put that here. How about takeout for James? Select OK and now you can see that ticket has been named takeout for James and it's easily identifiable. We also have a customer database. When I select customer here on the upper right hand corner of the screen, you can see here is my customer database. I can search for a customer by typing their name in. And when we open up our customer, we can see that we do have all of their information, phone number, address. We even have their email in here. We can see their favorite items that they've ordered. We can also see any previous tickets. That way, if we want to go ahead and open that previous ticket up and simply reorder it, we can do it at that point. We also have a built-in loyalty program. For the loyalty program, we assign points to menu items or dollar amounts, and when the customer purchases those items or spends those amounts, they will accrue points which the system will track and eventually earn a discount based on those points. You can see here this customer has 96 points available and they do have one discount, a $2 Tuesday available at 50 points, which they may spend. I'll go back into our order screen here. We'll pay this ticket out in cash. And once all of our tickets are taken care of, we can go ahead and clock out. We do that by coming up to our personal page here, choosing clock out down at the bottom. It will ask us for our cash tips. I'll go ahead and enter those now, and then I can clock out. And that brings me back to the front page of the software where another employee can clock in or log in as needed. So that covers our quick service ordering scenarios. Now we will go over some of the management functionality. To enter the manager screen, I will tap on the manager button. And this is our back office manager screen. Here is where we can update or change menu items, add or edit employees or jobs. We can also create any discounts we might have. This is also where we will run all of our reports. Back here you can see we use complete sentences for each description, which makes it very simple to decipher where you need to go to accomplish each task within the software. Let's first go into the menu editing screen and see how simple it is to add or change a menu item. So you can see this is my menu editing screen. I have all of my menu items here. If I would like to edit one of these items, I would just simply highlight that item and press the edit button. But let's go ahead and create a new menu item for now by pressing new. First, I would enter the menu name. So let's go ahead and enter the dinerware burger. So we enter the name here. 
And then under alternate kitchen print name is where we do have the option to put an alternate name that would print out in the kitchen. So if it's abbreviation or maybe a number or just any alternate lingo the cooks might use, you can place that here. Next, we select a revenue class. This is the higher level item that that item is, so this is obviously going to be food. Next, we choose an item group. Item group is more specific and it breaks all of our menu items down for reporting purposes as well as placing discounts on groups of items. I'll go ahead and put this one under burgers. Then we choose the screen category. This is where your servers are actually going to find it out on that order entry screen. So I'll put this one under burger as well. But you can see you can put items under multiple categories if you'd like. I'll select OK. And then we choose our choice sets or modifiers. So these are going to be any modifications that you can make on that item. I'll go ahead and add a side, a meat temperature, an add, and a no. Select OK. Next, we select the printer that this item will print on. I'll choose kitchen for this item. But again, you can choose multiple printers. And you can change the names of these printers and add as many printers as you would like as well. The last thing we have to do is create a price for this item. I'll go ahead and say this burger is $8.95. And that's all you have to do to create a new menu item. Down here we do have the option of putting our rough cost in. So when we run our reports, we can actually see our profit on each item. I'll go ahead and say that this costs us $2 to make. I'll hit OK. And I'll jump back out to our order entry screen and you'll be able to see how quickly that item populated. Every change that you make within the software happens in real time. There's no need to reboot the system. And you can make this change from any terminal in the restaurant and it will automatically update on all terminals. So I'll go ahead and order the Dinerware burger. Medium with fries. And I'll go ahead and pay this out. And then we'll be able to see it in our reports. Let's jump back into the manager screen here. Here is where we add or edit employees and where we choose all of our security settings. Let's go ahead and edit one of our current employees as an example. So you can see here at the top, all we have to do is enter the employee name and assign a four digit PIN number or assign a magnetic swipe card. On the right are all of our security settings. So this is where we are able to pick and choose who has access to what parts of the system. So we can see here that this employee does not have any access to any management functions. If this employee tried to access one of the management functions, it would prompt for a manager's PIN number. So we can really make the system as secure as we need by limiting the different options here. So that's the employee tab. Now let's go over the discount section. Here's where we can create a new discount, a coupon, a daily special, or an employee discount. We can have as many different discounts as we would like. We can also very quickly activate and deactivate these as needed. To create a new discount, we simply tap on the new button down at the bottom of our screen. And you can see how this is very similar to creating a new menu item. The software is very repetitive in that way, which is one of the reasons it is so user friendly. We will go ahead and create a Tuesday Burger Special. Next we will choose if we want to apply this discount to the entire ticket or if we're just going to be applying it to certain items. I'll go ahead and apply it to certain items. And over here is where I can select a group of items. I'll go ahead and select all of our burgers, but if I'd like, I can also select certain items off of the menu. We do have a couple different ways that we can discount this item. 
We can force a price, so if I wanted to make all of my burgers $5, I would enter that here. I can also take an amount off, $2 off all of our burgers. I can also take a percentage off, 50% off all of our burgers. I'll go ahead and take $2 off. And then here's where we can apply this discount automatically. So maybe it's a happy hour that's only available Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. We can go ahead and set those days and times here and that way that discount will only be available during those days and times or I can apply this discount manually that would be in the case of a coupon or an employee discount we'll go ahead and apply this automatically and we'll hit OK and we go back out to our front screen here so now when we select our dinerware burger we can see that $2 discount has been applied automatically. We'll go ahead and pay this out here so we can see this discount in our reports. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our reports. Within the software we do have over 85 reports. These are broken down into categories such as sales, product mix, labor, and more. All of our reports can be pulled up from any period of time. So if I want to look at the last five hours, the last five minutes, or even the last five years. The system never dumps any information, so I can pull any report up since the moment the software was installed. So that's the reporting section. Now let's take a look at our daily report tab. This is where we see our sales for the day. This report is very similar to a Z report on a cash register, and this can be printed right on the receipt printer and placed in our deposit. This report, just like any of our reports, can be pulled up from any period of time. That is everything that we will cover in the demo today. Please see our list of videos for demos on table service, bar and nightlife, as well as more specific demos on the loyalty program, splitting a check, using the coursing feature, and more. If you would like to schedule a personalized demo, please visit dinerware.com and request a demo. Thanks again for joining me today, and good luck with your business.